Ellen Burstyn, a seasoned actress with a career spanning decades, has left an indelible mark on the world of film and television. When considering the defining moments of her career, one is met with a myriad of legendary works. Whether it's her compelling portrayal in Requiem for a Dream or the iconic role in The Exorcist, Burstyn's talent has consistently resonated with audiences. The question of which work defines her career becomes a subjective exploration into the diverse characters she has brought to life. While personal stories of inspiration may vary, Burstyn's impact extends beyond the screen. Many share stories of how her performances have ignited a passion for storytelling or sparked a newfound appreciation for the art of acting. Burstyn's ability to embody characters with authenticity and depth has undoubtedly left an enduring impression on admirers. As we reflect on her contributions, we invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic Hollywood actor. How has Ellen Burstyn inspired or influenced your life? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Ellen Burstyn, an acclaimed actress, faced a pivotal moment in her career during the filming of The Exorcist in 1973. While portraying a dramatic scene, a harness mishap resulted in a permanent spinal injury. The intense moment where Burstyn is forcefully thrown from her possessed daughter's bed was captured authentically, her scream of pain included in the final version of the film. Beyond her on-screen challenges, Burstyn's personal connections in the industry are noteworthy. She holds a role as the godmother to Marcia Gay Harden's children, showcasing the familial bonds formed in the course of her career. Additionally, Burstyn is part of the Distinguished Strasbourg Alumni, a list that includes iconic names like Robert De Niro, Al Pacino, James Dean, Marilyn Monroe, and many more. This interwoven network of personal and professional relationships offers a glimpse into the life of an actress who not only brings characters to life on the screen, but also forges lasting connections behind the scenes. Ellen Burstyn's resilience and enduring impact on the film industry stand as a testament to her remarkable journey. Amidst Ellen Burstyn's journey in the entertainment realm, a poignant chapter unfolds. Neil Burstyn, her third husband, once a promising actor and writer on The Monkees, faced a tragic descent into mental illness and violence. Their union crumbled just before Ellen's ascent to stardom, marking a tumultuous period in her life. Refusing reconciliation, she bore the burden of his stalking and terror for years until his tragic suicide in 1978. Beyond the personal trials, Burstyn emerged as a leader in the acting community. In 2000, she, alongside Al Pacino and Harvey Cadle, assumed the role of co-president at the Actors Studio, solidifying her commitment to the craft and mentorship. Notably, Ellen Burstyn's influence extends beyond the studio walls. She took on the role of mentor to Megan Mullally, shaping the path of yet another talent in the industry. Through these interconnected roles, Burstyn's impact reverberates, showcasing a resilience that transcends personal struggles. Ellen Burstyn's journey is one of triumph over adversity, from the shadows of personal turmoil to the forefront of industry leadership and mentorship, leaving an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Ellen Burstyn's career is marked by unique choices and personal challenges. In her portrayal of Sarah Goldfarb in Requiem for a Dream, Burstyn went to great lengths, donning 20 and 40 pound fat suits and prosthetic necks to authentically embody the character. This commitment to her craft showcases her dedication to bringing characters to life on the screen. Her early life also shaped her resilience. Following her birth parents' divorce, Burstyn attended St. Mary's Academy in Windsor, Ontario. Her return to Detroit after her mother's remarriage marked a pivotal moment in her journey, setting the stage for the actress we know today. Amidst her career, Burstyn faced a significant decision. She turned down the lead role in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest due to her sick husband, prioritizing personal responsibilities over professional opportunities. These aspects of Burstyn's life offer a glimpse into the complexities of her choices and the challenges she navigated. From transformative roles to personal sacrifices, Ellen Burstyn's journey in the entertainment industry is a testament to her unwavering commitment to her craft and personal values. Ellen Burstyn, a distinguished actress, stands among the select few who have achieved the triple crown of acting, boasting an Oscar, Emmy, and Tony Award. This exclusive club includes luminaries such as Helen Hayes, Audrey Hepburn, and Frances McDormand. Burstyn's journey to this accolade reflects her prowess and versatility across film, television, and theater. 
Interestingly, Burston has shared a peculiar experience with Louise Fletcher, frequently being mistaken for her counterpart. People often praise Burston for her remarkable performance in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, a role that earned Fletcher an Oscar. The mix-up highlights the uncanny resemblance and talent that the two actresses possess. Beyond the spotlight, Burston's early career took unconventional turns, from working as an acrobat to gracing the covers of paperback novels as a model. These diverse experiences reveal a lesser-known side of Burston's journey, showcasing her adaptability and willingness to explore various facets of the entertainment industry. In conclusion, Ellen Burston's trajectory in the world of acting is not only marked by prestigious awards, but also by intriguing intersections with fellow actresses and a diverse range of roles. Her story is a testament to the depth and dynamism of a remarkable career, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment landscape. One of the distinctive aspects of Ellen Burstyn's life is her multifaceted journey beyond the camera. An ordained minister, Burstyn practices yoga and abstains from alcohol and coffee consumption. This unique blend of spirituality and discipline adds another layer to her already intriguing persona. In addition to her remarkable career, Burstyn shares an interesting distinction with a select group of actresses. She is among the 14 Best Actress Oscar winners who chose not to accept their Academy Award in person, earning the accolade for Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore in 1974. This places her in the company of iconic figures like Katharine Hepburn, Joan Crawford, and Elizabeth Taylor, marking a chapter in her career that diverges from the conventional. Beyond her on-screen prowess, Burstyn's recognition extends to People Magazine's list of the 50 most beautiful people in the world, a title she earned in May 2001. This acknowledgement showcases not only her talent, but also her enduring appeal and presence in the public eye. Ellen Burstyn's journey unfolds as a captivating tapestry of talent, spirituality, and unique distinctions. From her roles on screen to her personal choices off camera, Burstyn's story continues to captivate audiences, leaving an impression that goes beyond the boundaries of traditional stardom. Ellen Burstyn's life story takes a poignant turn as we explore a pivotal moment in 1950. At the age of 18, Burstyn underwent an illegal abortion at five months pregnant, an operation that left her infertile. This early hardship laid the foundation for a life marked by resilience and determination. Fast forward to 1962, Burstyn embraced motherhood in a different way, adopting her son, Jefferson Roberts, with her now ex-second husband, Paul Roberts. This choice brought a new dimension to her life, demonstrating her capacity for love and family. In September 2009, Burstyn achieved a milestone, becoming the 20th person to win the Triple Crown of Acting. Her Academy Award for Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore in 1975, Tony Award for Same Time Next Year in the Same Year, and Emmy Award for Law and Order, Special Victims Unit in 29 solidify her status among acting greats. This recognition speaks to her versatility across film, theater, and television. Burstyn's journey is not just about her on-screen triumphs, but also the personal challenges and choices that shaped her. From a difficult start in 1950 to the joys of adopting her son in 1962, and finally the pinnacle of the Triple Crown in 29, Ellen Burstyn's life is a testament to resilience, family, and professional success.